it is me, Frank Jaffsey, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to try to give you asthma. For those of you who don't know what asthma is, asthma stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. Asthma is a neologicalism for a perceptual phenomena characterized by a distinct tingling sensation in the brain and scalp and sometimes spine. Sometimes it affects your entire body. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can make your own asthma video and try to give you some of these tingles. Remember, for the best effect, please put on headphones. Asthma is a lot different than musical frisson. Musical frisson is tingles you get from listening to music that is very pleasurable. For more info on pleasurable music, check out my mixtape at frankjavsey.bandcamp.com. It's kind of cool. It's kind of kinky. It's kind of weird. And it's kind of freaky. But if you follow these tips, you can become the next asthma star. Step 1. Become a woman. For some strange reason, the majority of asthma videos are created by women. Asthma is of course not a sexual thing, even though it's kind of kinky and kind of weird. And it's all about getting really close and personal to someone, whispering in their ear, and then, you know, touching their face or even role-playing. For asthma to work, you have to get really up close and personal. Sometimes people like watching other people touch their face in asthma videos very softly. Does it feel like I'm touching your face? If you see me touching my face, if, if it does, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more face-touching videos. Just kidding. Step two, get a microphone. I'm using my... Blue Yeti stereo condenser USB mic right here. For some reason, if you speak very softly on the right, then on the left, it is known to cause asthma. When I touch the microphone, is it like I'm touching your ear holes? Step three, record the following sounds. These sounds are known to give asthma tingles. Common triggers include slow speech patterns, accents, soft speaking voices and whispers. If you are feeling the effects of early psychosis due to smoking copious amounts of marijuana in your youth, you normally hear schizophrenic-like voices right before you go to sleep. If that's the case, just try to emulate those whispers. That's basically how all these asthma voices came to be. Other asthma triggers include lip smacking and eating noises. Like I said, it's kind of really fucking kinky. Clicking noises and brushing noises. For that, I brought my brush and I was watching this other tutorial where some guy was like, get a, get a sponge and brush it. Oh yeah, is that doing anything for you? Because I know it's doing something for me. It's making me really fucking uncomfortable. Fun fact, when I was recording this video, I accidentally clicked stream, so a select number of people watched me whispering into a microphone while brushing a sponge with a brush on Twitch earlier today. The results were really weird, to say the least. Other noises that these freaky people get off to include white noise and soft brush strokes. Bob Ross, the painter, is known to have caused a lot of head tingling orgasms in his day because of his style of painting tutorials. Rest in peace, Bob Ross, you are a hero. I love your Q-tip head. Other asthma people like up-close personal attention from people, and they 
they like to role play, pretending that they're taking exams or they're just talking to people. And for some reason that gets them off. So in this part of the tutorial, I'm gonna try to give you asthma by pretending I'm paying attention to you. Talk about your favorite anime. Really? That's really fucking interesting. What's it called again? Madoka Magica. Wow, I'll totally check that out sometime in the near future. Now, I'm gonna be pretending to be your gynecologist, and I'm giving you an exam. It says right here in your records, Mrs. Robinson, that you have been experiencing a yeast infection for the past four and a half years. So I'm gonna have a good look at you right now. Wow. Now in this asthma role playing, I'm gonna pretend to give you a haircut. Hey girl, hey. Do you want your usual do? What? You want an undercut this time? Why would you want to get an undercut? Oh, because it's the year 2011, and that's all the rage right now. Sure, why not? So how have you been, girl? Really? I'm sorry to hear that. Next, I'm gonna give you the money shot of all asthma videos. It's the potato chip bag recording. I'm just doing this shit to make fun of them. 
So I want to thank you for watching my videos, and if you want to see me do more of this ASMR stuff, just tell me what you want to see. I was actually thinking about it. You can do so many things with ASMR. ASMR is like a new kind of like genre in itself, where it's like the sole purpose is to make people's heads tingle. It's not really music based, but there are so many things you can do with it, especially the role playing aspect. There's so many ways you could just role play with it. And I love role playing. Like that's my favorite fucking type of video game. Like I think life is a giant role playing. If you know what I mean, wink wink. So yeah, thanks for watching my videos. Now I'm gonna brush my microphone with a with a brush and see if that does anything. Now I'm gonna use my fingers on the microphone. You know what's kind of weird about this? Is that I'm actually physically touching the microphone and if you're wearing headphones it's like I'm touching the insides of your ears.